On today's show, we are going to talk about pace and rhythm and timing. And no, I'm not going to teach you how to dance. <laughs> I'm a total dork out on the dance floor. Just ask my wife, Terry. She'll tell you. Whew. I try. I mean, I like to bop with the music. I, you know, I really do. But uh, I ain't got no skills in that area, I'll tell you right now. All right. Um, so Simon in Toronto, Canada writes, Hey, Paul, the British hi-fi community emphasizes prat, uh, pace, rhythm, and timing. Though it also means your butt or your ass in um, out, out in Britain. Uh, in North America, uh, the, we speak of precise imaging, resolution, and scale. Um, but does it mean that we are too hi-fi-ish uh, because the Brits use Pratt uh, as their determining factor, you know, the, the, whether your, your foot's tapping or not, as their means of identifying whether something is running great or not? Uh, we've got uh, much bigger man caves here in North America with more space that accommodate much bigger speakers than do the British. Uh, gears like Name brag about Pratt all the time, Name being a British brand, of course. Someone once told me that imaging is artificial and overrated, <clears throat> but so what? Bob Dylan isn't coming over tonight to play in my room. I'll take the illusion. Uh, are those characteristics for real, or is it a case of toe me toe, toe mare toe? Uh, he got me on that last one. I don't know what that means. <laughs> Probably something that goes beyond me. Okay. Yes, it's true that people in, in Britain talk far more about prat, pace, rhythm, and timing, pacing, rhythm, and timing than, than, than we do, though it has crept over here as imaging has crept over there. I, I don't find that divide quite so dramatic anymore as it, as it once was. I mean, I can tell you that for years, we, we always looked at the Brits and said, you, you, have, you, know, you have no interest in bass. And here in, in, in the States, we had subwoofers, and we were clearly interested in bass. And, and the, the, the Brits and the, uh, the people overseas, not so much. And we always attributed it to the fact, as, as he brought up, that they have smaller rooms, smaller speakers, and so they focused on, on other things. Today, while I'm sure you know, the rooms are still a little smaller over there, I don't think that's so much the case anymore. And, and the reason, because I, I read like Alan Sircom's great articles and, uh, in, in uh, uh, Hi-Fi Plus and uh, the other British magazines, which I'm an avid reader of, they, they still use real ink and, and good paper. And I think they seem every bit as concerned about imaging, about tonal balance. So I don't, I don't really find that. But let's talk about uh, pacing, rhythm, and, um, and timing. I think those are things that if you haven't ever experienced them, it's hard to describe. I can tell you that uh, I will find if we're experimenting with a new piece of product or we're evaluating one of our competitors' products or whatever we're doing in the music room, sometimes, you know, when I'm listening to, uh, we have a whole bevy of music, all 20, 30 favorite tracks to give us a wide variety, everything from uh, Shostakovich to, uh, you know, uh, Perlman playing uh, um, uh, great pieces of music live to Dire Straits, you know, and, and it, it's a pretty wide variety of music. I'll notice that on some gear, regardless of what we're doing, on the right kind of stuff, my toe will be tapping. And, and, um, and on others, it won't. It doesn't seem to engage. Now, you may or may not have had that happen to you. I certainly have. I don't know to attribute it to mood or a particular piece of equipment, but there are are definitely some pieces of equipment that get my toe tapping more than others and definitely some that image beautifully and some that don't. For my tastes, creating that soundstage that puts me in the space of the musicians is far more important than the Pratt, 
That's just me. Why? Because as perceptual listeners, the space where things are recorded, <clears throat> how real they appear, uh, seems to me to be just about everything in what I value in recorded music. And that's what we work so hard uh, with our products to achieve, this, this sense of real instruments in real space in your room. And sometimes we also get that toe tapping uh, impact on certain tracks and other times not as much. But given my preferences and the preferences of our company, I would much, if I had to give up one thing or the other, that's one of the things I'd give up. Of course, I'm being greedy and I want all of it, right? <laughs> so, but that's what we're referring to when we talk about it. And that, that's, that's my preference. So I'm not sure I did a great job of answering your question, but yeah, that's the best I got, man. All right. Talk to you later. Bye. Thank you.